Hi YouTube. Today I am testing the AMD Radeon AI Pro R9700. This is a two slot blower GPU with uh, 32 gigabytes of VRAM, which as you probably know, since you're here, is very, very helpful in 3D work and rendering. So today we're gonna test Blender rendering in some standard test scenes, as well as viewport animation frame rate. And then we'll run the Blender Open Data Benchmark, and we'll kind of go through the results here. Stick around and see how this thing does compared to the rest of my results. Okay, so we'll start off the render tests on the R9700. In the classroom scene, this one's super fast. It only took about 20 seconds. Next up is the barbershop scene. This one is a bit more realistic to what you might actually render. And it did this uh, in about a minute, 33 seconds. The next scene is the long one. This is the lone monk scene. And I've sped this up quite a bit. It takes 2 minutes and 23 seconds. And finally, the scan land scene. And this one gets done on the R9700 in about a minute and 26 seconds. Okay, so now let's go through the rendering results. Uh, you'll see that the Radeon AI Pro R9700 is highlighted in this sort of red-pink color on each one of these results. Um, I ran this today on September 9th, 2025 in Blender 4.5, and all of these uh, render tests were with HIP RT. So to start off, we have the classroom scene. It took 20 seconds on this GPU, and you can compare it to the other ones, but it's just a couple seconds slower, uh, actually less than two seconds slower than the 9070 XT, which is good to see that um, a blower card like that is not significantly slower than a basically gaming version with a better cooler. Uh, so that's a good result, but let's move on to barbershop scene. I'll scale this up a little more for you. So in this test, it took 93 seconds for the R9700, and that is within one second of the 9070 XT. And you can see the other GPUs on this list. I'll take screenshots of these and post them so that uh, you can kind of spend more time looking at them, or just go ahead and pause this video and look through them if you would like to. Um, but noticeable other GPUs here in this range, uh, the 5060, the RTX 5060 is almost as fast as this GPU. So if it wasn't for the uh, quadrupled VRAM, it makes this Pro card look a little bit expensive. Obviously the 9070 is just a little bit faster, so that's a that's a good um, kind of comparison there. Really, you're just paying for extra VRAM at this point. Um, and then the 5060 Ti and 4060 Ti are just a bit faster. I spend more time on this scene because this one is kind of a better result than some of the other scenes. So look through these if you'd like to. Let's go on to the Lone Monk scene. This one is always the most interesting, as you may know. This test is better on Apple, AMD, and Intel GPUs relatively to the other tests. So for some reason they outperform on this one. And one of the maybe weirdest ones is that the Apple M4 Max 32 core GPU is just as fast as this AMD card in this test. And it's even faster than uh, the 4070 Super and the 3090. So you can see that these are kind of a little bit strange. And I say this every video, I still don't know why this scene runs differently. Um, so if somebody does know, leave a comment explaining it. But basically, uh, yeah, your R9700 is about six seconds slower than the 9070 XT on this test. And it almost catches the RTX 5070 and it beats the 5060 Ti by an entire 60 seconds. So for whatever reason, this scene is really, really good on everything but NVIDIA. 
And then uh, finally for rendering, we have the scan land scene. And this goes back to normal. So the AI Pro R9700 is just a little slower than the 9070 XT, like the other tests. And you can see it's significantly slower than the 4060 Ti and 5060 Ti. And in this case, about twice as slow as a 3090. So that might be interesting to compare for value and obviously look through these and I'll post them again, like I said. But that is it for the actual rendering tests. Obviously the VRAM makes a big difference for 3D work. At this point, you just have to decide basically to pay double the price for 32 gigs of VRAM instead of the 16 that comes on the 9070 XT. And I will say that this is probably one of the first pro cards with a lot of VRAM that's not completely out of line price-wise. It's still expensive, but it's not super slow like a low-end NVIDIA pro card that might have closer to 32 gigs of VRAM, but um, is really on the low end of chips. So this one is, is probably the first time I would start to really consider these if you, if you know you need that much VRAM. So things are looking up for the future of GPUs. And along with that, I know that in Blender 5, which should come out hopefully in early November, uh, we will get a new version of AMD's HIP uh, software. And hopefully, if the rumors are true, they should render 15 to 25% faster than they do right now. Um, and I don't know if everything else will move up. I don't know if NVIDIA will see improvements too, but AMD is probably the one that needs it the most. So let's really hope they get that implemented by November and uh, we can all get some free speed boosts on AMD cards. Um, but that's it for these comparisons. Go find the results on the community tab if you would like to look at them more. Eventually, I will share a version of this spreadsheet so you can manipulate the data and add to it if you would like to. I'll probably do that maybe through Discord. I'm going to try to launch my, my Discord page here soon uh, just to give us a better place to, to have more casual conversations and, and share more information. Um, so watch for that too. Uh, but that is it for the render scenes. Okay, so now let's run the viewport performance test here. You can see our AI Pro R9700 using HIPRT, and I'm testing it with Vulkan right now. So I'm just in the viewport. Um, I have no settings changed from my other GPU tests, and I'm just going to hit play animation. And like always, we'll record the frame rate in the viewport here and compare it to everything else. So it looks like it's getting about 12 frames per second on average, I would say. Kind of spikes um, a little higher than that sometimes, but 12 looks to be about the average. I'll just kind of let it play through here. Yeah, so, so right around 12 FPS. So I'll go log that, and um, we'll talk about the other results. And you can see from some of the other GPUs I've tested, the sort of speed up you get by using the Vulkan backend instead of the old OpenGL backend. We'll go compare those results right now. Here are the viewport FPS results in red again. Here is the result for the R9700. It gets about 12 frames per second in this scene, and that was using the Vulkan backend. Some of these old results, especially the uh, 5060 from NVIDIA and then the 9060 XT results give you kind of a good comparison between Vulkan and OpenGL. It's definitely a, a good improvement for uh, viewport frame rate. Uh, but comparison wise, the R9700 in the viewport is about one frame per second faster in this scene than the 5070. So that's a, that's a good sign. Uh, most of your time spent in Blender will be in the viewport, not in rendering. You can see these other results here. Uh, this one's even only two frames per second behind the 5070 Ti, which is a good result for this card. 
I'm glad we didn't see a significant slowdown just because of the cooler. Um, so we'll add a lot to this list as we go. Uh, so watch for those. And if anybody knows a good standard scene, I can also test for viewport frame rate. Let me know. They have to be somewhat heavy. Otherwise, the frame rate will just max out at 24. Um, so I might have to turn the max frame rate up because some of the test scenes that I use for rendering definitely are not heavy enough to get a good scale. So somebody share a good scene for that if you know of one. Um, but that's it for this one for now. Okay, so I'm going to run the AI Pro R9700 in the Blender Open Data Benchmark. You can see that I have it selected there. I'm running it on uh, Blender 4.4. So I can compare it with the other ones that I've done so far this year. And I'll just click start and then um, we'll speed this up a bit and talk about the numbers in just a second. Okay, and here you can see the results. I'll go copy them to the spreadsheet. Uh, but we got 725 in the classroom, 813 in the junk shop scene, and then about 1520 in the monster scene. And here are the Blender Open Data Benchmark results. I have the 9070 XT and the 9700 both highlighted here in this pink color. Um, I've run Blender 4.4 tests on most of these GPUs. Uh, the biggest things to note here are, um, again, the 9700 is right behind the 9070 XT. And then in general in this test, NVIDIA is significantly ahead of AMD's GPUs at similar price points. I will definitely have a lot more to add to these tests soon. Um, and really that's it for the data on this one. But before we're done, one side note, I know that YouTube added some sort of hype thing. Um, I think when you like the video, you can click the hype button. I don't know what it does. I can't even find it when I watch videos yet. So not sure how to use it, but if you happen to see that pop up, um, I'm just asking if you could click on that for this video. I just kind of really want to see what it does. Um, I would appreciate that a lot. But other than that, watch for the next ones. I have a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, Intel Arc Pro B50 is coming, as well as the RTX 5050. Uh, the Intel card is backordered, so I don't know when that'll ship yet. I think they don't even release for a couple weeks. The RTX 5050 should be here next week. And then I have a few other test ideas and some animations to release in the meantime. So be watching for that. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys trying to grow this thing a lot so we can get more software, more hardware, and uh, you know really start to scale up quality and um, get more results than we ever could before. So let me know what else you want to see. Otherwise, uh, just know that I appreciate you being here. Thanks.